So yes, as Gwen mentioned, uh, I am a shaman and a seer, and my guides directed me to start helping with this ascension process that we're all going through. And I've been doing this for probably the last 13, 14 years and really didn't know what I was doing. To be perfectly honest, had no idea. I, I did not understand all my gifts. I didn't understand what was always being um, asked of me, but I was always very open. You know, just show me what you want me to do. Talk to me, let me know I'm here. And so it has been just this amazing, amazing journey. And Archangel Metatron is probably my lead um, guide as far as ascension goes and has been since the very beginning. And um, so I have, you know, just to understand a little bit of how some of my gifts came through, meditation was a big part of that and also transformational breathing. And so tonight for this class, what I really want to do is I plan on offering just an array of gifts. I know you get a gift, but I have a lot of things that, that have come to me that I share with others that will help you with this frequency and vibration that we're trying to keep at a really high level. And so the first thing that came to mind is 13 years ago when things started coming to me is I was at a retreat and I was learning about daily practice because at that point I was not meditating on a daily basis. And so meditation, even if it's five minutes a day, is a wonderful way to keep your vibration and your frequency up. And Archangel Metatron uh, has had been after me for years to do classes and do many things. I'm like, no, 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 I'm too shy. So um, just not long ago, they asked me to record a meditation that takes us to the new earth grid and Metatron leads us in. And then a couple of Hathors, which are, I don't know if they're galactic beings, but they're amazing beings actually lead us back. And it's an eight minute meditation. Um, they just said, we will guide you. We will, we will work with you. And so that is a gift that I would love to share with all of you. And, um, and just having that practice every day has made a huge difference for me uh, because I think it has entrained my mind to go to that level where I can actually leave my body. I can connect up with other beings, other angels, under, other spirits, and really get some information. And I like to ask a lot of questions. Uh, and I know at this point, uh, there's not a lot of answers because things are shifting so quickly and, uh, and, and, you know, they can't really give us the kinds of answers that we want in this, in the 3D world, because we're really moving into that 5D world, uh, whether we know it or not. And many times we're moving even between timelines um, on a daily basis. And so uh, if you're, if you're feeling like you're losing your mind, uh, you're not you are just actually popping in and out of other timelines that you are comfortable with. And you've got many aspects that are in these other timelines that you're, you know, like going and visiting and coming back. And so there's a lot of things going on that you may not even know is happening right now. That is as we ascend and shift into this new place. So, so meditation is something I do every single day in the morning. The other thing that is a really big part of my practice, my daily practice, is I have a couple of prayers that I do. They were provided by this teacher, which was great. Uh, I just put them in plastic covers and I'm still saying them today. Um, and, they're, and I'm willing to share any of this with, with all of you. I will give you my email address at the end uh, and you can just let me know if there's a specific gift that you'd like or the works and you'll get everything that I'm talking about here today. So the meditation, the prayers, the other thing is gratitude. You know that we've heard that attitude of gratitude is so important. And I do a gratitude list three times a day. I do one in the morning. 
um, when I'm taking my shower. I you know, find times in the day where uh, I can multitask. You know, it's easy enough to wash my hair and do a gratitude list. But I start out with how grateful I am that I have water, that I have hot water. It's as simple as that. And I don't want to take anything for granted in my life because this is, you know, what a joy that we chose to come in. Um, we are here to be a part of the puzzle. We may not know exactly what we're doing um, in our piece, but it's just this very exciting time as we see things shifting and they're going to continue to shift. And so I'm grateful for everything. Roof over my head, heat in my house, um, beautiful day, blue sky. I'm in Minnesota, so any day that there isn't snow, I'm grateful. Grateful to see green. I mean, it's it can be really simple what you put on that gratitude list. And so I do it in the morning. I do it uh, in the afternoon. Um, and then I do it before I go to sleep at night. I, I think about the blessings that I've had. And for me right now, my biggest one is that I have two elderly cats and they're 18 years old. I've had them since they were little. Um, and I'm just grateful that I had another day with them. And, and it can be that simple. Um, and so for me, gratitude is a big, a big part of what keeps my frequency and my vibration high. The other thing they recently told me is to smile. Because if you're starting to like, um, you know, right now, a lot of us are having aches and pains. We're really tired. We're feeling like we're climbing a mountain. Uh, that is because our higher self is able to move to these higher, this higher level, this higher frequency, much quicker than our physical body is. And so this physical body is like dragging up, um, you know, as we're shifting and ascending here. And so some days can be really tough and you can have just weird pains and um, not understand what's going on. I, you know, it's like, have I been bitten by a tsetse fly? I feel like I have sleeping sickness. But they said, just smile. If you just smile, you can feel it. If you do it right now, big smile, you can feel your body shift up a little bit in vibration. I mean, I'm like, wow, that was simple. And I got that message last week. And so I really love that. Um, the other thing is if you've ever imagined um, rainbow light around you, that's a huge vibrational um, color group. And so the guys have been sending through a lot of information about healing with what a lot of what's going on. Um, you know, there's a lot of turbulence. There's a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, uh, shot that people are getting uh, connected to the virus. Uh, there's all sorts of things that are happening with that in the world. So an easy way to start clearing ourselves from some of that uh, as we're out in, in the population or around others who might be um, emoting uh, frequencies that aren't as pleasing is the nicest way to say this is to imagine rainbow light. Uh, from your head down to your feet and just see it going around you, just circling you a couple times and then have it go the opposite way a couple times. And just that quick, having that rainbow light, it, it, what it does is it deflects any of the like uh, EMFs out there, the 5G stuff, it just kind of deflects those negative uh, frequencies that uh, are floating out in our in our airwaves. And again, I have a little video. This was uh, channeled through another shaman, and I have a video that describes that. So if you'd like that, just let me know. Uh, the other thing that came through that they wanted me to talk about was because you know, my world is lots of beings and we all have beings around us, whether you know it or not, they're there. And mine uh, like to chat a lot now. And uh, 
they talked about faith versus fear. And because fear will really bring your vibration and your frequency down. And even if it's just anxiety about what is going on in your, you know, around you, maybe at work, maybe while you're driving, um, they're, they're telling me to give you another, another gift, which I will after, but to keep that fear out of your, you know, out of your space, out of your bio field. And, and, uh, because what they keep telling me is everything is in divine order. And I say, okay, now there's some stuff going on right now. That's like, is this really in divine order? I'm having a hard time buying it. Well, they're still saying, yeah, it's all in divine order. And the trick they wanted me to share with you when you start getting into fear is you can tone. And toning, I learned this through doing transformational breathing. And it's just, ah, and you can just do it as loud as you want or as soft as you want, but, ah, <laughs> and, and it's like smiling. It will bring your vibration higher. It gets you out of any negative, you know, vibration that you're at. You know, this works, I learned that this works really great if you're in traffic and I'll start I'll start toning in traffic and all of a sudden it seems to move out of my way and I'm moving very quickly down the road and I'm like, I love it. So I'll just keep chanting and singing and, you know, put a few choruses in there and it really, it really works. It gets you out of, uh, it puts you in like a new headspace, which is, is perfect because when you get to that higher place, you can start manifesting like you never have before. If you really kind of release the like the frustration of the traffic and you're singing at it, it will it will move out of your way. So that's a that is a great tool. The other thing that I just learned about recently is called Schumann resonance. And describe what this is. And what it is is an atmospheric electronic magnetic resonant frequency that tunes our mind and spirit. And 7.83 hertz is connected to the sound or frequency of the earth. And uh, again, I work with um, another shaman and she does an actual clearing of the, the uh, globe every day. Uh, and she clears off negative frequencies. And she does that, she works with these Schumann resonance uh, sounds. Now you can find them right on YouTube. Uh, but again, uh, you know, if you send, you know, send me an email and say, send me the works, I'll send you some of the YouTube ones that she's found very helpful. And what she found is when she would do this clearing of the earth, she would adjust the resonance and she could see this new earth grid, new heaven on earth. Um, you know, there are many names for what, what we're, what's coming into play here. Uh, she could see it like like just totally like happy um, where she could really tell the difference by using this frequency with her clearing practice what a difference it made and so there are just so many ways that we could easily stay in a very high vibration the other thing that i i um share is some high vibrational products, uh, one being an ionic trace mineral, and the other is a, um, it's a food, nu nutrient rich food that both of these have um, been tested with applied kinesiology. They have a very high vibrational level. Um, 970 was the reading, and I guess Christ, the the measurement for Christ energy is a thousand. So they're right up there. And I have a psychic who introduced them to me and he loves how he can see the light that comes into our body. 
when you take these products. And so that's also something that my guys were like, this is very important. You need to get it out there. I could see how it was connected to the dimensions, to this new earth grid. Um, didn't, you know, didn't quite understand all of why, how, why it was so important here. Just like all these other things like meditation, you know, all these things are so important right now because if you can keep your frequency high, it will keep illness and disease away from you. It is that simple. And I know for myself, I have in the last two years uh, since taking these products, I've been cancer free. I've had um, no unusual trips to the doctor. Um, it, it's amazing. And I work with energy healers who, who use these products with their patients. And, and they talk about how keeping that vibration high, what a difference that makes in our bodies. And of course, if we can keep ourselves healthy, if we, if we keep ourselves out of stress, that's another thing that one of the shamans really talks about. If you're in that stressful place where you're uh, fight or flight, that's not good. You, your immune system will come down. And so a big part of what I like to teach people about is vibrational wellness, not only like toning and smiling and uh, being in the sunshine and um, you know doing your gratitude list and your meditation, and re but really keeping your immune system at a high level because it's really going to keep you um, at a place where you're in joy every day. And my guides clearly stated when I started chatting that we are here to be in joy and create, that's it. We don't have, you know, it's like when, oh, what's my purpose? To be in joy and create, and that's it. And if you can find what, what gives you joy, stay in that joy, um, you, you will live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> and so that is, um, that's what I have to share tonight. Now, my email for anyone who's interested in, in sending me their email address to get these additional gifts is kellyrogersbiz at gmail.com. So you can see my website right here. Uh, you can actually connect with me there or just go to kellyrogersbiz at gmail.com. And I will send you, eat, you know, the any information that you want. If you're interested in learning more about transformational breathing, I can send you a connection to that. That's great. It's uh, Judith Kravitz uh, created this, and she's got some YouTubes out there which are lovely. Um, I can send you the Schumann Resonance you, uh, YouTubes. I'll send you, I can send you the video for the rainbow light. I can send you my prayers, uh, the meditation that I created. And I know that you will be getting a gift, which is Metatron's cube. And this is Archangel Metatron showed me how I could put myself into his cube and others to heal them. And so that is um, the gift that is uh, everyone will be getting who attends. And that's on my website the Kelly Rogers Biz <laughs> site. One of the things that I do on my Thursday class, which is happening after this, is we do a love circle. And so what I'd like to do is we'll all do that. So if everyone will close your eyes and imagine that we're holding each other's hand. We're all multidimensional beings and so we can easily do this. So imagine someone's on your right and someone is on your left and hold their hand, take another breath. And the beings are around us on the outside of our circle. And so just think of anyone that you would like to put in the middle of our love circle. You could put yourself, you could put any family member, any pet, anybody that you think 
could use some extra love right now. Take another breath and feel, feel the energy of the circle, feel the energy of the love. The beings are saying, Feel them, feel their love, feel their support behind you. Okay, and then when you're ready to come back, just rub your hands together. Ground yourself. 